Right, she's got a tray. <laughs> get out of the way! Oh, should I get the cream eggs out? 10 cream eggs, I've never seen so many in my life. Hello everybody, it's me Nia and I'm joined with Joe, but he's too tall so he's got to stand back there. And recently, obviously Domino's has released their cream egg cookies and I've, <laughs> I've been seeing all over TikTok people making them and the Tanya Burr, if you know, you know. I made a video like when I was 13 making her iconic cookies. She released a cookie recipe for cream egg cookies and I just knew I had to do it. So I bought a massive packet of 10 cream eggs. I've never seen so many in my whole life. Mm. Step one, put your cream eggs in the freezer. These have just come out. Last year we filmed a little mini eggs cookie video and we really enjoyed that so we thought it'd be nice to do a little cream egg one this year. What else, what other Easter treats are there? Hot cross buns. Next year we'll do hot cross bun cookies. If you can see, we've got all our ingredients here. I don't know where my kitchen scales have gone, so I've got my guinea pig weighing scales. I'm sure you've all heard of these Domino's cream egg cookies. I'm using my KitchenAid, but you absolutely do not need a kitchen. I do not have a KitchenAid, but I have a Kenwood stand mixer, so that's basically the same thing. So we're gonna use that. But like she says, you don't need a KitchenAid. You can use your hand to mix it. You can use an electric whisk, or you can use a stand mixer. the first thing we need? Butter, 135 grams of it. Yesterday, I filmed a little drive with me that will come out next week. I went to go get all the ingredients so we'd have it all ready for today. And I just assumed that we had caster sugar in the house and we had none, so we just had to quickly pop out and get some now. But, got a whole bag of it now. Here, I've measured out 100 grams of golden caster sugar and 80 grams of light brown soft sugar. This is really important because it makes the cookies have that dominoes cookie color. 100 grams of golden caster sugar and 80 grams of light brown sugar. Hang on, do you not rush me, my friend? Mm. Tanya says the most important bit is the light brown sugar because it gives it that like golden colour. Useful. I'm going to crack this in. One egg. And then mix that. You've got to mix the egg in again. <laughs> we were meant to do it while we were mixing, but. Oh well. No, it's fine. I'll just add it now and then it will just go in in a minute. Oh, my hand is shaking. Oh, should I do a bit more for love? Incredible. What is next? I've got 300 grams of plain flour here and I'm going to add to it. Right, 300 grams of plain flour. This is such teamwork. Right, more. Just, yeah, there you go. Right, I'll sieve that. No, place your bets. 250. No, I meant 150. 165. All right, all right. Ooh. Two teaspoons of baking, baking powder. powder. Two teaspoons of baking No, no, gorgeous. We've got a measuring teaspoon. Go on. Oh, I almost stood like this. Yay, beautiful job. Let's do it. Well done. And then one of bicarbonate of soda. I always feel like bicarbonate of soda makes the whatever your baking taste a bit grim. Oh my god, we were meant to add it half by half. Oh well. What do you mean half by half? Like half of the flour. I don't know. Nah, it's fine, isn't it? Right, let's check what Tanya has to say in case there's any anything extra. Where's my phone gone? Oh, I didn't put it there. Hang on, Joseph. Hang on, just putting it in. It's gonna be good. I'm going to add half and this. And once that starts to combine, you can add it in a Oops. And 100 grams of chocolate chips. Oh my god, I don't have chocolate chips. Maybe I do. Yeah. You have to mix before hand error. Vital ingredient is obviously free eggs, but you have to freeze them for... We freeze them, don't worry. Right, she's got a tray. <laughs> Get out of the way! Oh. oh, Jamie Oliver never fails. Get this. This is a tray that is non-stick, so you don't even have to put grease proof on it so I'm gonna make them on my Jamie Oliver but I need to wash it I think. Cream eggs out of the freezer and a baking tray lined with baking parchment. I've got my cream egg ready. What you have to do is flatten out this cookie dough. Okay. Put the cream egg in the middle. Make a little cream egg parcel. Like Are they cold? These are honestly so satisfying to make. Just right she's making do you see she's making little parcels. Yeah, I understand. Okay, I'm just trying Much to help. Stupid. Well, you say that. No, no, you do it in your hand, you plonker. I'm trying Much to help. Stupid. First cream egg cookie. And then make the OG Tiny Bear cookies. Were like, you know, like the triple chocolate Tiny Bear. 
What were the Easter ones we made? Oh, uh, mini, mini eggs. Cupcake Gemma. Love her. Oh no, tiny bursts were meant to have eight. We made them slightly too generous. So we're going to take a bit off the edges and mold them. I wonder if on these bakers they're gonna like leak cream egg everywhere. I'm wondering if you make them too thin. Well, you don't want them too thick either, that's the only yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's it on the eight? Should have nine. Huh? You've already got eight there. Oh, oh yeah, so we're nine hours. Yeah, my bad, sorry. Just trying much. to help. Yeah, you are. Successfully made them smaller, so instead of six, we've now got nine. I hope these are big enough, Tanya. Pop these in the fridge for 30 minutes before baking. These are feeling lovely and firm after being in the fridge, and now I'm going to pop them in the oven at 180 for 11 minutes. Here's our nine cookies. We've got an extra cream egg left over, and Tanya said the longer in the fridge the better, so we're going to put one in the fridge and then save eight for actual Easter, but obviously we want to try one because that's very important, so we're going to bake this one. Could you pop that in the fridge for me, please? Thank you. Right. I'll see you in like an hour. Hi, we're back. We've put... <laughs> Joe was desperate to try a frozen cream egg, so I thought I would film his reaction. You ready? Ooh. Is it nice? Not a long creamer. Can I try a bit? Oh! <laughs> I've really hurt my nose. It's a little bit later and my cookie has been in the fridge for a couple hours. And I've preheated my oven to 180, so it's ready to go in. I think you bake it for like 10 to 11 minutes is what she said. So I'll leave it in there for five, then I'll turn it, see how it's looking. Hey Siri, five minute timer. Five minutes starting now. Incredible. I'll give it a little turn at five minutes and then we can see how it's looking. So I'll see you then. Five minutes are up. Let's see how it's looking. Oh my god, it's still a mountain. What the hell? Wait, I'm so confused. Tanya's actually was spread out. Um, I literally have a... Ah, 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 Look, I literally have a cookie mountain and I think it's basically cooked. Right, I'll give it a couple more minutes. Hey Siri, three minute timer. Ooh, I got a new tattoo. I forgot to say. Just been flexing it this whole time. I got it when I was in India. If you haven't seen any of my India vlogs, go watch them right now. Hey Siri. I think I'm gonna give it a few minutes to cool. I will see you in a little bit when it's cooled. It's cookie time. It's not gonna spread out a little decent amount. Yeah, I just expected it because yeah. Tanya's were like flat. We've got a whole cream egg in it, if you think about Yeah, but Tanya's had a whole cream egg in it. Oh, oh the bottom looks good though, look at I that. I think the whole thing looks good. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That was crunchy. I think it's just stuck to the knife because of the cream egg. Mm -hmm. oh. Hey, <laughs> Joe's giving me the bad piece. This is what it's looking like from the inside. Incredible. I don't know if it needed longer. No, I think you want it to be softer in the middle. Oh my God. It's like crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside. It might be the best like chocolate chip cookies I've ever made. I know. I'm so impressed. Joe's off now. He's had what he's come here for. You've got chocolate on your mouth. You do. Can you get rid of it then? I need to lick it off. You didn't say where. I would want to try that without the cream egg as well and mm -hmm. see how they turn out. Because those look good. Yeah, they're very nice. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Comment down below your favourite Easter treats. Smash the like button. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.